Nate Diaz fights Hamzat Chimaev at UFC 279. Nate has been talking about how the UFC is holding him hostage. He can't find a fight. I think the Chimaev fight was already in the works and he was just talking it up some more to make sure they get that shit set and secured. Verbally agreed though, so not contractually signed. This fight is a huge bout for both guys. I mean, Nate Diaz has got the star power. It's main event, September 10th, UFC 279. Diaz, Chimaev, five rounds. That has to be with Nate Diaz. Five rounds, he can't do a three-rounder. It's five rounds or nothing for Nate Diaz. And fighting Hamzat, the boogeyman at 170, who just beat Gilbert Burns in a war and showed that he's human. Diaz destroyed by Leon up until the last minute of the fight, and then he rocks him bad. It makes a lot of sense, but it also makes zero sense. It's Nate's last fight on the contract, so you got to look at it like it's probably door. See you later. I want to see the McGregor trilogy 100%. I was thinking maybe they're waiting it out for that. McGregor doesn't seem like he's in the mood to fight. He looks like he's bodybuilding right now. He looks huge. Diaz Hamzat's to fight. It's going to sell a ton. It's a huge bout. How does it actually look, though, when these two fight? Hamzat Shumayev has the clear-cut edge in the wrestling. Obviously, he's going to be dangerous with the stand-up, too. Nate Diaz's boxing is tricky and awkward to deal with, but let's be 100% honest. He's not this slick boxer. He's a peppering puncher with crazy volume who can take incredible amounts of damage. Hamzad Shimaev is a lot more athletic and explosive. He's faster. Interesting note though, Nate's got an inch in the reach department. That could be something, maybe, with the boxing. Still, I'm not seeing it as enough. Nate Diaz shined a lot against Conor McGregor, right? And I mean, if you look through Anthony Pettis' recent win for him, that was the last W. Conor McGregor previously to that. So what? His last five fights dating back nearly six and a half years ago, he's two and three. Loses to Conor on a competitive decision. Some people felt he won. Nate feels he won the fight. And then two losses in a row. The Masvidal fight was crap because it got cut short. With This is a BMF fight and they're stopping it with a cut. That was terrible. Granted, nearly three years ago now. A year ago, the Leon Edwards fight. Hamzat. Perfect run in the UFC. John Phillips, Rise McKee, Gerald Mearshart, G. Liliang, Leach. What the hell am I saying? It's Leach. Gilbert Burns decision. And now he fights Nate Diaz. I think it's a super smart move to jump that stock of Hamza Chimaev. And I saw a line by DraftKings that came out. I believe he's a minus 1,000 favorite. Let, let me pull it up because I need to see these official lines here i saw it on twitter let me get DraftKings twitter up because this is going to be fair i guess it's it's fair to see it this wide right it, it makes sense to have nate diaz as a huge underdog Where, where's this line at how many damn posts did there we go just announced nate diaz hamzat shumayev hamzat's minus 1150 nate diaz is plus 750 i think nate's in a swell to plus 1000 or maybe he shrinks down to, to plus 650 probably not but who's really betting Shemaev at minus 1,150? That's a crazy line. Look at Nate Diaz's history, though. Because when you think about the matchup, it's Hamzat Shemaev winning the fight. More than likely, like I would say, could be 10 times out of 10. Nate's losses that he's faced, he does struggle with the top-line grappling. You look at Benson Henderson back in 2012. I know this is years ago, but it's a factor. Rory McDonald had difficult grappling, beat Nate Diaz. Don Young Kim, difficult grappling, beat Nate Diaz. Josh Thompson knocked him out. That was the only time we saw Nate slept. RDA, grappling, beats him, controls him on the floor. He then has the mild run with McGregor and beating Michael Johnson. They're not relevant, though, today. Who is Nate today? The last time we saw him, he was dominated by Leon Edwards. He was taken down. He was controlled a bit. Granted, he wins the fight, or excuse me, he loses the fight, but he wins the fans and wins the fight, I guess, at the end with that punch. And he talks about it in a real fight. Like, he's got it. If it's unlimited time, it's going to be Nate Diaz. Hamza Chimaev seems to have a good gas tank, but not incredible gas tank. How does he beat Nate Diaz? I see him taking the fight to the floor and wrestling him. People talk about Nate with his jiu-jitsu, but let's be real. He gets controlled on the mat. Lower level guys, yeah, Nate's tapping out a ton of people. But when you get to the best of the best, he's not going to shine on the floor with Hamzat. Striking, I think there'll be a bit. 
but Hamzat's going to look for takedowns. I'm seeing this as a weird-looking fight. One that Hamzat should win. How does he get it done? Does he go the full five? I'm concerned about the Chimaev gas tank going rounds four and five. I, I genuinely feel like if some weird shit were to go down, it's going to be in the fourth and fifth round, Nate Diaz somehow. But if Chimaev has a controlled pace, controls Nate on the ground, beats him up, maybe he gets a TKO. I could see TKO on the ground for Chimaev around the second or third. I doubt he submits Nate Diaz. Hard to see him knocking Nate out. Can you imagine they got into a striking match? Is it a bad idea to throw 10, 20, 30, maybe even $50 on Nate Diaz for fun? Probably not. If you're looking to throw a little sprinkle on in the craziest upset maybe of all time, I'd wait till the line hits plus 1,000 because it is probably going to. Tremayev should win. And I think he does. It sends Nate outside of the UFC to do other things. He'll probably get involved in boxing. Maybe we'll find his way to bare knuckle. Who knows if he finds his way in Bellator. There's a lot of options for him. I know his boy Yancey Medeiros is over in Bellator. So that could be a factor getting him in the door there. And I know Scott Coker would be interested in having him. Because, I mean, Nate Diaz, uh, brother of Nick Diaz. Nick and Scott seemed to have a great relationship at the time when Strike Force was the mainstay. Chemayev wins. He probably fights for the belt. But I do think he looks somewhat human in this fight. Nate Diaz is not an easy matchup for anybody. I hope they're getting paid a shit ton of money. I'm excited for the fight as a fan. I'm pumped. I think Hamzat is a pretty high confident, like good to go lock type pick. But like you can't ever count out a Diaz brother, especially Nate. We're going to find out. Weird fight. Crazy fight. Great main event. Marketable selling. I mean, just... Last week, Nate's talking about he wants to fight Nganu or Adesanya, which seemed nuts. But Nate is nuts. He's the guy. We're riding Chimaya for the win. I feel great about the fight as a fan. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Main event, I think it sells five rounds. We're going to get a lot of pay-per-view buys out of this one. This is, realistically, Hamza Chimaev, the next superstar versus Nate Diaz. You know, the superstar that he is. And I would still love to see Diaz McGregor 3. Hopefully, we can somehow get Nate negotiated for one more. And then he fights McGregor after this one, even with a loss. But we're riding Chimaev for the win with confidence. I say he gets it done. It's a crazy fight. An incredible one. I can't wait for it. I hope you guys enjoyed this news reaction. Let me know what you guys think of them. If you want to see more of them, let me know in the comments. Much love to the supporters. Make sure you smash the like and comment. Pump that algorithm, man. The comments help a ton. So drop a W in the chat to support your boy. Subscribe if you're new. Keep it locked in here at MMA Experts. I got content dropping all week long, each and every week. Follow me on this road to 10,000 subscribers because we're getting close. Much love, my people, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace, everybody.